crazy story. So I want to get to those in a minute. But first of all, the first thing I thought when you walked in here today was, do the stuff, the things that you buy at the hardware store or the grocery store, is it worth the money that you spend for that? Well, it, it depends, you know, on uh, what your, uh, you know, the problem is. There's some stuff there in the stores, uh, some certain hand gels and like that that work real well. Yeah. Uh, there's some stuff uh, in there like uh, Raid and all that that you try to use. Uh, you can use uh, Windex and you get the same results. Yeah. Uh, you have to have something that uh, has a good residual to it. Yeah. And basically it's uh, knowledge of what you're going at because different uh, insects have different uh, characteristics, different likes, different uh, dislikes. So. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 20 years. Give me just an example of when you get a phone call and they say, Hey, is this Bob the Critter Gitter? Yeah, yeah, this is Bob. Um, listen, I got a problem with this. Can you help me with that? Has there ever been a call where somebody said, I got this problem, and you go, uh, Wow, I, I'll try, but I, I've never done that before. Have you had some of those? Uh, no, so far. Everything that uh, I've had to deal with uh, over 20 years, I've pretty well you know, been able to handle. I get a lot of calls where people like to get uh, free information. Yeah. You know, All advice. right. So help me out with the, the, what's most usual, the thing that you would get a call this time of the year? This time of the year is usually your, uh, your roaches. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Well, what type of animals? Animals right now is basically running uh, your squirrels. Uh, is the biggest thing we're dealing with right now because they're you know, they're trying to hibernate up uh, for the winter and they're fixing to have their babies, so they're uh, they're kind of a little difficult right I've now. I've had four squirrels in my house at one time before, and the security that I called, they brought acorns in and was like, "Here, squirrely, squirrely," and those squirrels <laughs> stayed in my house for the longest time. We found one dead in the oven. I was in college. In the yeah. oven. It was dead in the oven. We went to go cook because we never cooked, so like a month later, we found it in the oven. Yeah. What's the funniest call that you've gotten, or you showed up and it, it was something that was unusual? Oh, Lord, there's been so many of you know, get a lot of snake calls, and, you know, you go under. I had one incident where uh, the wife spotted a snake going to the crawl space, so I went in, and uh, I thought it was going to be a real simple one. I opened the crawl space door, went in, right there it was. Hey, great. Yeah. Come out. I showed the, the homeowner. I said, well, there it is. He looked at me, and he says, hmm, that's nice, but it's not the snake my wife's seen go in. Uh -huh. So I had to go back in under there, and... Uh, I finally found it. It was a copperhead up in the corner. Yeah. He was not happy to see me. Have you ever got bitten by a snake? Uh, yeah, but thank God it was a non-poisonous. I had a yeah. six-foot black get a hold of me one day. And yeah. Didn't want to let go. Has yeah. there ever been a time when you've been afraid? I mean, doing it 20 years, a time well, where you were just really scared. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I have a uh, fear of snakes. Really? And uh, But, uh, you know. It's your job. Yeah, you I got to go, go do it, so. How do you, know. you catch them? Uh... I usually have a pole with me, but sometimes I have to go in if it's real low and I can't get the pole with them, I have to go in, you know, snake them out by my hands. Like, oh, no. Holy crap, I would man. tell those people, I got it. And <laughs> do you carry an extra pair of panties when you go out to do that? Because I would. Uh, there's an uh, extra change in the <laughs> I can use one of those grabbers that old ladies use off a of TV. The uh, they don't work too well because, uh, you know, the snake can get through that. So I have a question, and everybody thinks that I'm crazy for saying this, but I've heard that snakes are attracted to baby milk or breast milk, and so like if a, if they have a, like a breast pad from breastfeeding in the trash can or something, like snakes try to go in there after that. Is that true? Like they're attracted uh, to it? I really couldn't say on that, you know, because a lot of rumors that go around like that, you know, and I'm not a female, and you know, I'm the age where I don't have any kids running around since I've been in this business. So, <laughs> have you ever thought of changing your name from Bob the Critter Getter? Um, it, you know, when times are slow, to do uh, Bob the Cooter Gitter? Oh, my goodness. Uh, we used to have a good uh, saying about that. I used to have this uh, one guy, who, uh, his business was beaver control. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd have his truck and my truck parked side by side, and uh, we'd get a lot of comments. <laughs> now, what's the biggest animal that you've ever had to wrangle? Uh, probably the alligator. What size? It was about four foot. Who had an alligator at their house? Here? Uh, I was in Garner. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, it was one of my neighbors a few streets away. And uh, my wife called me uh, one afternoon, and she says, you need to come home now. And uh, I says, well, what's, what's the problem? And she says, there's a big uh, reptile in our backyard, and it's snapping at the dogs. So I asked her what she was drinking. 
<laughs> she convinced me there was something wrong, so I get home and uh, I'm teasing her and couldn't find anything. So I took my hound and put her outside the gate in the natural area back behind the house and uh, she lured out a bush and there it was. So I yelled down to my wife, let's call 911, tell them to get out here because uh, alligators is not what I'm you know, trained to do. Yeah, yeah. trained to do, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm an old kill animal, I'm a damage control agent and that. That particular uh, species was a Florida alligator. It's against the law to have them. You know, talk about a four or five thousand dollar fine. Yeah. So uh, she finally convinced uh, the uh, 911 operator there that the, we did have an alligator out there, and uh, about eight uh, police officers showed up to help me arrest him. <laughs> well, you know, the uh, what was the guy, the crocodile hunter? Mm -hmm. So he, this is the thing that scares me when it comes to like snakes and whatever. It's not the actual snake that scares me. It's the shock of seeing them. Mm -hmm. And I probably would would uh, do a really bad job if I had to get an alligator. But I see him just jump on his back. Because he can't bend but so far. Mm -hmm. Jump on his back and get some duct tape. <laughs> Is that what you did? Oh, yeah. I, I didn't tech jump on his back because it was only four foot, but I got a catch ball. I've got him on that. Oh, she's I got really hot, I might. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got her down to where I could handle her, and I, like I said, you know, I duct tape her mouth up, and uh, the uh, one police officer, she was from Florida. She said, lots of Florida alligators I know. She says, How'd you know to tape his mouth up like that? So I watched Steve Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about doing it to my wife a thousand times. <laughs> uh, we got a question from email, and we've got the critter getter, Bob, here in studio with us. All the information, how you can get him, with his phone number and email address are all online at bobandtheshowgram.com. And this is from Dan. I don't even know what this is, but he says, Can you guys please ask Bob the critter getter how I can get rid of silverfish? Uh, yes. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's those little things that slide across your floor and stuff. Right? Like yeah, that. basically, uh, the, uh, if you have a lot of boxes around, uh, they like to get into that heat to glue and, and light that off them. Uh, the best thing to do is you need a uh, residual uh, spray and spray around the area. They'll probably come you down from the attic if you got a lot of boxes and stuff up there. Yeah. And uh, the problem is, you know, uh, there's a lot of baits on the market that they say work, so I've never had it work. I just use a good residual spray on an attic. Spray it down real good and go across it. I was thinking just a minute ago that it would also probably be a good business uh, for a lot of women if you had uh, Bob the Pooter getter. <laughs> so you can take your oh husband. Oh my gosh. Hey, my husband is pooting a whole lot. Bob the Pooter getter. Can you come and help me with that? <laughs> I've had, a lot, I've had a few phone calls, you know, if I could take care of their husband, and I told them a 45 shell costs a lot more. <laughs> so I have a question. Let's say that, uh, that a woman traps, she just has like a glass or something, and she sees a black widow, throws the glass down, traps the black widow, but is too afraid to do the next step. Do they call you, and you, you drive all the way over to somebody's house, maybe across town, to mm -hmm. go do that? Is that the kind of stuff you do? Oh, yeah. I've had uh, people caught mice, and... Uh, they keep it under the trash can until I get there to get them out. And, yeah. uh, I get uh, quite a few calls. Or they'll have it in a plastic bag. i got to stop by and see what it is and explain to them what I can do. Yeah. But, I mean, what do you do? You just take them out and on the way, drop them out, throw them out in the woods or something? No. Uh, if it's a black widow, I'm going to send them to uh, bug heaven. <laughs> bug heaven? <laughs> so how dirty are people's houses, really? Because you get to see them when they're not cleaning up and expecting guests. Uh... I've been in some that uh, are, uh, I know why they have the problem. Yeah. And I've been in a son that uh, is, you know, real expensive homes, nice and clean, and they have a problem. Yeah. yeah. Why do we have, like, why do, some, why do you get rats? Like, is it just because of where your property is? Because you got a nasty, nasty house. house. No, but uh, if you keep your clean really how clean yeah. and you get it sprayed and everything, then how do you still get, like, a rat in your house? Well, if you've got construction going around, uh, or a smaller population yeah. in the field, or they're out mowing and stuff, you know, they'll, they'll want to move. You know, if you've got a nice house, you know, they'll like to enjoy it along with you. Right. Well, make it sad, huh? All right. <laughs> Bob the Kidder, 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 Booter, Kidder. <laughs> anyway, go to our website. Uh, thank you, dude, for coming in. You're awful uh, nice to do that. We appreciate that. Back after this, more show, Graham, coming up here next. Don't go away, y'all.